marriage at three months than wait at that time the pain has checked in and the next thing you cannot deliver and so these women are appointed but they had the fear of God and they never partnered with Pharaoh may the Lord raise women who will refuse to partner with Pharaoh let me tell you the generation coming they have tattoos they have piercings they have dreadlocks they don't look like your ordinary prophetess but can you be a midwife and enable them to deliver what the Lord has allowed them that generation has a past they are broken they are wounded they have been in staff they may not look like the women of the 70s who had long dresses and vitamba but they are coming as they are they're saying i don't know what i carry something was kicking they, they, they are not yet fully chained they still have their dreadlocks and their earrings but they are speaking in tongues they are seeing visions they are prophesying they are praying for the sick they are seeing the power can there be a midwife who will go beyond external examination and allow them to bath first? Allow them to deliver. Because what is happening is that a generation is coming to church, but the church does not understand them. And they also don't understand church. Because that generation is, is challenging status quo. They don't know why they need to worship on Sunday. Why can't we worship on Wednesday? They don't fit in traditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, that generation comes to church with the sandak and pajamas and vest. That, that generation. But they love God. I know those are your children and your brothers and sisters. They, are, they may be called Generation Z. But when you deal with them, they are looking for God. But we are quick to look at them. Yet they are seeking something greater than appearance. They are so real they don't apply makeup. They have nothing to hide. Yeah, you find a girl and a boy, you don't know who is a girl, who is a boy. They, they are team natural. They don't even do whatever. They don't know the price of Brazilian weave. Yeah, when you are coming on Sunday to church, they finish preparing. You're the one who delays them. Because you must hide your scars. You must put on makeup, put on lipstick, put on eyelashes. And look like all is well. But for them, they don't need to hide anything. They are real. And sometimes they will face you straight on the eye and ask you hard questions. And if you're a mother like my mother, the next thing you'll tell them is, Diggy dear. Because they have begun to cross some lines. Hallelujah. The first woman was the mother of Moses. A lot is not written about her. But being a parent, I've discovered, you can't negotiate with a toddler on when to cry. <laughs> you can imagine you've given birth to a boy. And boys are under attack. And you can't tell this boy you are, you are in danger. So you can't cry. So you can imagine the risk of hiding a child who does not understand he's being hidden. Maybe you're even passing next to the soldiers and the child begins to throw tantrums. And, and, and she saw that and stayed with that. She had put her life on the line. Because if she was caught, death will be the penalty. Because you are disobeying the laws of the king. And allow me to commend women because I know the price you pay. Sometimes, not just to deliver, but to incubate that which God has given you. One day my wife left me with the children. I had a long day. There are two of them, terrible three. I tell you the truth. That the clock was not moving. So you feed this one. The other one wants to change diaper. You change diaper.